Hey guys, Forever Midnight here, back in Dishonored during the Rig More Witches DLC. Now I'm going to help you obtain the Enough Coin to Disappear achievement, which requires you to survive the Rig More Witches in low chaos with over 10,000 coins. When you start the game, you can upload your previous save file from Knife of Dunwall, which will bring over all of your unlocked abilities, extra runes, and most importantly, all of your extra coins. I highly recommend doing a playthrough of Knife of Dunwall first to bring over as many coins as you can to make this achievement easier to obtain. Although this has to be a low chaos playthrough, it does not matter if you are spotted or not. So that means you don't have to do this at the same time as the Silence is Golden achievement. But if you want to hit like four birds with one stone, so be it. So what you have to do is start a new game with whatever playthrough from Knife of Dunwall that you have with the most money. If you start a new game without uploading a ple previous playthrough, you're only going to start with 3,000 coins, making you scrounge for every last bit that you can find. Because with all of the coins, there's only about 10,200 or so, a little over 10,000 that you can find. So it's going to make you work for it if you don't use a previous upload. Now, since you have to do this in low chaos, it doesn't matter if you upload a low chaos or high chaos playthrough of Knife of Dunwall. As long as you do the low chaos pay playthrough of Brigmore Witches, you'll finish it just fine. Now, I'm not going to actively narrate where every coin is, as the video itself will show you, but I will chime in from time to time with any added hints that I collected from my playthroughs. In the beginning when you wake up, one of the first things you can do is run downstairs and collect all of your equipment from your previous playthroughs or just from starting the new game. If you have extra runes, I recommend highly that you put two of them in Bin Time, Blink, and Dark Vision. You really don't need Pull, which is unique to this game, until level 3 where you can use it against the Brigmore Witches. As you can see here, I already have over 6,000 coins, which is why I highly recommend doing a playthrough of Knife of Dunwall first, as you will start this game with all of your coins plus runes you collected from that game. As I was saying earlier with pool, you can use it against guards to collect the coins on them, but they are few and far between in the first two levels, and you can most of the time easily just choke them out and then move on. As you can see, I have a coin counter in the upper right hand corner. The coin counter will increase as Dodd moves exactly through the levels to collect coins. I will have it show the amount the that is available in that level, and at the end it will add into a current total across the playthrough. I will not include the amount I already have as my amount versus your amount will most likely be different amongst playthroughs. So Dodd's hideout has 500 coins, after that you move on to Coldridge Prison. In the levels you can buy favors, you don't need to for Cauldridge, as none of them will benefit you or gain you any money, really. So what you're going to want to do is go to the execution yard first to knock out those two guards, and then you can get Lazy Stride's execution chamber cell number from the guard that was saved. One thing that I did when I played through this first level was knocked out as many guards as I could find. This way I didn't have to worry about them constantly spotting me and having to deal with it. As I said earlier, this is a low chaos playthrough, so it doesn't matter if you're spotted. As long as you don't kill any of the humans, you'll get your low chaos playthrough. As you can see here, you're in the courtyard. After you either pull or choke that guard out, you don't have to go into the second room as shown right here to go up to the stairs to the control tower. You can use blink level 2 to jump straight across to the roof where you can get the coins I'm about to show you. It saves you from having to go through the entire courtyard area and deal with the guards. Once you get into the control room that gives you the access to open the cells, you want to open Lizzie Stride's cell that you got from the guard you saved from the execution, and you want to also open three other cells that have coins in them. The cells are A13, A14, and A25. There is a fourth cell that has coins in it, but it's already unlocked so you don't have to worry about it. Identify. 
unidentified or Cell A25 holds the last bit of coin to be found inside of Caldridge Prison. After you grab the coin, all you have to do is scoop up Lizzie and make it back through the prison to the tunnels to finish the level. After you grab this feather, your total amount for Caldridge Prison will be 1655, which, when combined with the 500 coins from Dow's hideout, will bring your current total to 2155 minus whatever you started the game with. Tune in next time to learn the location of the coins inside of Draper's Ward during the Dead Eels mission. This was Forever Midnight, and I really hope this video helped. Thanks, guys.